In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up the gear system to have one motor running two gears at the same time by using rigid body. Let's create a gear. If you don't see that, please activate an add-on called Extra Objects. Tab to go to edit mode, and 2 to edge select. Alt select an edge loop like this, and F to fill. Let's create a cylinder and S to scale. We need to add the rigid body. Let's add an active one for the gear mesh, and a passive one for the cylinder. Select the cylinder, and shift select the gear to rigid body connect. We need to change the type to motor. We need the angular one with the default velocity and impulse values. If we play the animation, the gear will fall. We need another constraint to keep the gear intact. Before we do that, let's rotate the motor constraint to make sure the gear would rotate horizontally. Let's shift select both meshes and add another rigid body connect. The second constraint's type needs to be hinge. There is our first gear. Shift Z to go to wireframe mode. Let's select all objects and shift D to duplicate. We don't need the motor constraint for the second gear. Please make sure the margin sensitivity for both gears are set to zero. This is the end of the tutorial. Please like and subscribe, if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you for watching.